hello <clears throat> yeah i hope everybody is doing fine and today we have a laptop and i thought maybe it's good we we made a, this video we made this video together yeah but i i don't know to other technicians outside there but for me i don't know why maybe i just find it a bit better to have a completely dead laptop rather than have a partially working laptop Holds that laptop is working partially and maybe other parts are not are not working. Those faults are always a bit a bit difficult or they are a bit challenging than when your laptop is brought completely dead. A completely dead laptop is a good laptop to me. I don't know what about you as a technician. And it is in all laptops that I found that if the machine is partially working, especially like the, the keyboard, the backlit keyboard is working, the fan is spinning, but the machine is not having a display. If it's not the screen, and even if it's a screen the customer is going to suffer some 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 expense screen are not cheap and actually if not if not if it's not the screen you find that you're dealing with the bios and if you're not dealing with the bios sometimes you're dealing with the ram and sometimes even say getting a new ram and setting those ports sometimes removing the whole port and putting a new installing a new one sometimes it's about the processor so to me i don't know about you i'm always okay with a completely dead laptop than a laptop that is partially working they are always down to so this is a problem i've been having with the elite book machines this is a problem with elite book 840 g1 elite book 840 g2 elite book it okay elite book let me start with the lowest elite book 820 g1 g2 g3 g4 elite book 840 g1 g2 elite book 840 g3 g4 this is a very common problem with these laptops eh? okay let's see this one eh? So, as I said, it's partially working, but it's not completely okay. Something is not working in between. So on my supply, you can see the amperage being drawn by the motherboard is 0.591. Eh? And I want somebody outside there. Can you give us a solution? What do you do in this case? I would really need I would really need to use a solution to somebody who have ever dealt with this case and maybe was able to fix any. Because in this laptops, actually, I have like two more videos in my youtube channel if you are to check out if you are to check in my youtube channel i have two more videos with this same same problem here yeah and every time i have this uh, let me show you where the problem is eh? you see yeah i know you saw the machine working and you are like what's the problem the machine is working fine what is wrong with the uh, some fix today this machine is okay wait wait i'll show you that the machine is not okay Okay, now all of a sudden it's called is restart see and there why? And before the machine was just going directly to that point. So the HP logo, that's very fine. Yeah, I think I've tried to I've switched it off. See. Stuck at that point. <laughs> Who remembers other videos I uploaded about the same problem? Who remembers those videos? The same. This this one is an 820G3. The other one was an 840G4, and the other one was also an 840. I had an 840G1G2, if I can remember. Unless I go back to those videos, but I have the same. And guess what? Guess what? All those laptops that I had this problem, same chip, same chip. And let me show you the chip. I don't know whether you see it. Eh? You see? This chip here. You see that very hot chip there. It's always near the processor. This chip here. I don't know whether you can see it. This one. This chip. Maybe let me use a tweezer. Eh? See this one. In all machines, this is always the problem. And uh, let me tell you. I'll take that chip, I'll change, I'll put another chip from a working machine, it's the same problem. When you remove the chip, the chip, you try to take the short circuit. Short circuit is also is always on the side of the PCH. The short circuit is never the other side. It's always from the side of the PCH. And what am I supposed to do with PCH if the short is directed? And when I inject the voltage and I check with them, PCH is getting hot hot here at just at the edge here at the edge is where the p i've tried boiling the processor which also which is also risky maybe trying to reflow the processor and sometimes 
actually that is very risky the machine could go dead completely and in all these machines i've never been able to succeed on this one so right now today the, the videos of the video the today's video is to ask who knows the solution to this somebody will say hey do a firmware i've done firmware on those laptops i've tried to do bios reset firmware the emily region lbe cleaning nothing and this is another one now it's a uh, something i have to take it back to the customer because i also don't know what to do we don't know everything sometimes i need somebody to tell me what am i supposed to do with this one outside there other technicians i have i know the technician from the uk united states and other countries are getting to hear me but the indians my good friends from india what they can, i think uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be trying to do translation because if you're also from india and you know how to, do, to sort this one please tell me i don't know to, to do some little bit of india i don't know you, you guys talk man I don't, <laughs> you have very good videos but the 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 language there is a, a lot of uh, who knows what kind of a language who knows only god knows what kind of it's an only who only god knows what a kind of a language you get what i'm saying uh, only that is a bit complex to us i I also try to think the guys converse in the language very comfortably so guys who is having these solutions who do have these laptops i'm having them actually there are so many i don't even make videos for them and i tried eh, another one and i thought hey, let me come to the youtube now and try to ask for so who can help me with this problem guys i'll be more than happy to please comment down in the comment section or maybe give me a schematic give me a bold view give me a method give me a sign yeah i need to know because I've lost so many. If they are solvable, then I've lost a lot of money. They keep coming. I don't make all the videos, but they keep coming. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, like, keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.